everybody, my name is Annie Thor, and this is my summer 2016 STEM project with Goldberg Machine. So, as you all know, our Goldberg machines had to create some form of art in the end, and the art I chose to do was a painting. So, I'm going to show you the process of me making my Rube Goldberg machine and in the end my Rube Goldberg machine in process and the painting it created. So I am gluing on little solo cups to make my water wheel thingamabob and apparently my hot glue gun is so hot it's beginning to burn holes through the cup which is fun. You can see they're distorting the cups on the inside, so that's a problem. And not the only problem. When I bought a tube I was going to use for my marbles, I found out it was too small for my marbles. So I decided the logical thing to do was cut it up and try to make up a way to use it. So there is how I cut it up and I decided to try and make a slide out of it which I actually used in the end of my machine and I tested it with my marbles and it ended up working which was great for me because it meant I didn't have to go out and buy a tube. And so for that I made a railway tube thing for my marbles to travel down which ended up to be in my process too, which I actually love because it's great and it works beautifully. Okay, so I have added cups attached to strings that go through the tubey thing. So that way when the ball goes down the ramp and into the tube, it'll knock over the cups which will dump paint on the canvas. So for my project, for the four main component things we needed, I chose magnets, water, wind, and gravity. For water, I used a water wheel. For magnets, I have magnets that hold back the water wheel and then allow it to go. For gravity, I have a piece that a marble knocks over and falls over. And then for wind, I have a fan that's going to be turned on by said falling object. Okay, so there was a plot twist. We moved from the living room into the garage and there was some changes on my machine. We took away the whole water wheel deal because it was just being a nuisance. Um, we added the marbles in that corner over there and we have four different paints and you can see I already spilled a little on one. And we have glitter shooting out of the fan because nothing's complete without glitter. And we're, oh and that's the water. The water goes down the funnel and pushes the marble. Yeah, there's the magnets over there, then that's gravity, and then that's wind. So let's see how it turns out. So after numerous tries at working my Rube Goldring machine, it didn't turn out completely successful, but I think it turned out well. Not all of the components were successful, but overall, they were included and they worked to some degree. So I had two separate attempts with my Rube Goldberg machine with two different, let's call them canvases, because the first time I did it, I wasn't really satisfied with the results, so I tried again, but it ended up being similar to the first one. This is the first picture I completed, and this is the second one. The wind and magnets weren't so successful but they were at times. The magnet was the color green and the wind was the glitter. So Goldberg machine was more successful on the first canvas than it was on the second. But overall I think they're beautiful. So thank you for watching my Goldberg machine project and I will see you in this upcoming school year.